this is Curity NG, a media partner for this event, still on love and medicine. Uh, my name is Kelvin Okoroji. Today is Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. My guy promised to take me somewhere really special. Oh, and wow. when he brought me here, he said to me, don't worry. It's all about love, yeah. health, and medicine. And I listened. I learned quite a few things from the speakers, especially from the doctor. Um, and some other people that uh, give some nuggets about what's going on here today. So I, I'm happy I came. I'm not an exercise freak, but I know that you need to exercise to stay healthy. And um, if you have diabetes, the best thing is to exercise and, and eat, eat right. Twice. And um, is it genetic? There is genetic components to everything. I mean, diabetes, high blood pressure. If, is there a chance that my son, who has years go by, because of my son from the same bloodline, will inherit that or from the mother it's a very deep um, conversation but i'm in the school of all opinions that nothing runs in your family that will end up with diabetes and hypertension it's actually because nobody runs in your family that's why you have it diabetes and hypertension do not have now if your body was like your car wouldn't you change it would you change the fuel check the carburetor if it was like your generator you would change it 
you would do something. So it always amazes me when people make their health an option, not a priority, and everything else is so important. Don't use all your health to chase after wealth, only to spend all your wealth later trying to get your health back. And the second one, when diet is wrong, medicine is of no use, hear me. When diet is correct, medicine is of no need. Putting value or placing value in your life, that is what I learned here. If you value your life, then you will do the right thing. If you don't value your life, then there's nothing. I really appreciate when my colleague talked, um, Kate Hensha. She said so many things that really blew me. And um, just like the analysis she gave, if our body were to be generator, we change the oil. Okay, uh, the, the one I think I, I learned that is so dwelling in my mind is one that talks about depression and what, when he was talking about that, I, I was having this feeling in me because some people don't know what art is and what actors go, go through because of the cyber bullying, you understand? Like what is happening to this uh, Wobi right now? From hearing this, I think I'm more encouraged to stay on my grind, not to go on depression, even though things I had, as you know that there are hard days and I should find a way to strike a balance is to enable to sensitize our members to be able to take care of their body, to spend more time. You know, if you eat good food, you do exercises, you do workout, and you take care of your body, you look at or what you eat, your diet. I tell you, you won't have to spend so much on medication. And you won't, you won't fall ill easily like that. popularly known as Mama Jasko, and I'm live here for Love and Medicine uh, Valentine's Special. I'm celebrating actors and people in the entertainment industry, and also um, a reality call to expose artists to um, the downside of overworking yourself in terms of um, depression, diabetes, and all of the necessary um, um, health risks that our jobs entail. Um, over time, we have artists all the time coming online. Um, they collapse, the kidney, the bladder, you know, and we keep coming to the public to beg. So this is just to give us a mental health and awareness of how we should take care of our health, um, the route at which we should go, and medications to take, and steps in terms of exercise and fitness that we can do while we're working. That's basically what it's all about. And of course, to network as well. Yeah. <laughs>